Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. So, um, as promised in my community post yesterday, uh, we have a Colorado Craft Company uh, haul. Of course, y'all know me. It's Anita Jerem. Um, this is the June um, release. I am behind. Um, I forgot to order the May. <laughs> so, I still have to order the May release. So, uh, I'll probably be sharing that one next month. And, um... Yeah, it was really hard for me to decide which one to get first, uh, but a lot of y'all know I'm a huge Anita, if you're new to my channel, I'm a huge Anita Jerem fan. Uh, her, her, I, I, I don't know, how, I, I'm just, I am, I'm in love with everything that she designs. Um, so if I can find it, I get it. Um, she kind of rates up there for me like um, House Mouse. Y'all know how much I love House Mouse. Anywho, uh, so that is what this video is about today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, shockingly, um, a lot of y'all know I had my MRI last night. And I was told I would get results next week, but uh, they got it back and my doctor called me today. Uh, so if you stick around to the end, I'll give you what's happening next because uh, surgery is in the future. Anywho, uh, let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, Anita Jerem, she is a children's I think she's just a children's illustrator. She's done lots of children's um, illustration for books. Um, and that's how I originally found her. And then I was, I don't know what I was doing. I was just around. Uh, I'm always, you know, messing around online and the Colorado Craft Company popped up and there were her stamps and, it, and immediately it, I was hooked. Hook line. Anchor, sinker, it was automatic. Um, they snagged me in. Anywho, um, so I just go ahead and try and get the bundles. And then when the bundles release, I try to wait for when they offer like either a 15 or 20% discount on a purchase. And then that's when I order the bundles so I can try to maximize my dollar. A lot of y'all know I only buy... Um, when I can get something on sale, unless I'm, unless it's something I want really bad and it's something that has been retired for a long time and there's, you're, you're just not going to find it on sale. Anyway, uh, so let's get started. Um, this particular release is, um, going to focus cause it's June. What is really popular in June? Weddings. There's a lot of wedding related stuff in here or relationship related stuff in here. Um, and then I believe, uh, purchases in August, uh, they were, I can't remember what it was, but certain purchases made in the month of August, um, you would get the Anita Jerem Colorado Craft Company pin. And, um, so I'm excited about that. I have one already. But I love her so much, that just means I get to stick this little cutie somewhere else as well. So, that was a awesome freebie that I am more than happy with. The other freebie was this one here. And this is called Handmade Mini. And it came with uh, the little die to cut the little guy out. It says, I made this myself. Made especially for you. Handmade. Masterpiece by me. Can't you tell? You get it? I made this myself. Can't you tell? So, super cute. Um, this might be something that I put on a dedicated block. And I think this, I might make this my signature like I, I like to stamp the back of my cards when I make them uh so I think this might be it and uh, you can't see it but the little guy is uh rinsing off his paintbrush in in the uh water right there so too adorable all right 
Um, oh, you know what? No, I bought these. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I bought these. These weren't the freebie. This was the freebie. Um, for some reason, I was thinking this was it because Colorado Craft Company's known for popping in little miniature stamps like this as a thank you gift. So, anywho, there's that. Maybe these are the freebies because these aren't on my Merry Bright Mini. Okay. This must be my freebies, which I am happy with. Uh, may your day be merry and bright. And merry, 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 merry Christmas. So, so yeah, like I said, they send freebies. Uh, for some reason, uh, my last ones, they've always been an Anita Jara mini, so that's why I thought that. But these are not on my receipt, so these must be my thank you goodies, which... Um, y'all know Christmas is my jam, so there's that. All right, I guess we'll start with the big guys and move forward. Um, if you're, again, I keep saying if you're new to my channel, um, normally when I buy a stamp set, I always get the die if there's a coordinating die, at least I attempt to. And I gotta let Windows know that I really like, it's not gonna let me. Well, gosh darn it, oh well. Anyway, I always get the coordinating die, so there's that. But I said weddings, and I have a bunch of weddings coming up. And so this is called a Happily Ever After. So uh, on your wedding day, Mr. and Mrs., here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness to the new you know, Mr. and Mrs. Congratulations. Then we have, um, so really cute. See that? The little flower girl. Um, this is like their first dance. And what I like about this set is these, the couple here, they're also in the scene. So you can color the scene and then color the couple and then pop them out. So there's, there's, they're, they're a, they're like sticking out of the scene, um, which, you know, that's the way it should be. And then you have the little kids hiding, you know, on the little, the little, um, bench around the tree. You have the wedding cake gifts. Um, and if you look at the wedding cake, the same thing, um, you can pop that out and, and redo it there. But on the top, it's little mice, little Mises. And um, even all the little flowers that are on here, there are dies to coordinate with all these little all these little things here. That's what I love about Colorado Craft Company. They are really good about uh, attention to detail as far as what dies go with their stamp sets. So anyway, so there is happily ever after. The next one is called. Again, the, the coordinating die. Um, recharge. And you got the cute little cat. He's on an island. And he's got a hammock back there. He's fishing. And he right here, you can't see it, but there's a little basket with fishy tails hanging out the back. And then down here, in so he must be like dreaming. So here he is. You know, he's in his hammock, but now he's dreaming about what he's doing. And, um, so enjoy these lazy, hazy days of summer. Hope you are too. Um, enjoy your day. Recharge. <clears throat> There's always time for one more cast and rest is good. And then the dies I love are really detailed because they actually cut out like around the hammock and everything. So he kind of looks like he's, you know, um, floating in the air. So there's that one. Then I know my friend Karen is going to love this one because she's a big fan of bunnies. And this set is called uh, Art 
is dyes. Art is dyes. Okay, that doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. But you got the big bunny, and the baby bunny's watching the big bunny. He's, um, I guess he's either going to draw the owl, paint the owl, the other bunny, or the squirrel. You know, they're sitting there painting. Look. Ooh. Ah. Art is what you make it. And then you got the paint brushes. I, Anita Jerem just, she, to me, as far as um, critters and animals go, she's one of my favorites. Although my husband is pretty awesome when it comes to um, critters. All right, there's that. And this next one is called A Fox's Life. Um, a channel I follow, Stephanie Davis, she... She got me hooked on watercolors, and she's a big fan of foxes, so I know if she saw this, she would absolutely love it and probably want to watercolor it. But, uh, we are like seashells upon the beach, beautiful and unique, each with a story of its own to tell. Seashells are love letters in the sand to a special friend. No matter what our differences are, we all look at the same moon. Katrina Mare, and I miss you. And you got the little fox. He's looking up. And then here, uh, you got little fox friends. And he's got the seashell up to his ear so he can hear the waves in the ocean. So, super, super adorable. And depending on the stamp set, uh, they usually include some dies to cut out a few of the sentiments. We're still going. Okay, this one here... Um, I had to check, does not have a die, but that's okay. The scenes on this are too absolutely stinking adorable, and this is called Playtime. And so we have, they're having tea time up here, but here they're having a little makeup party. And if you look at the two mice, they've got the eyelashes and they're putting them on like, <laughs> like wigs. Uh, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy tea. And that's sort of the same thing. Happy girls are the prettiest. Audrey Hepburn. And I hope you feel beautiful today. Wake up and make up. And speaking of Audrey Hepburn, um, I'm probably going to go back to Walmart this weekend. There was a... I only get the Life magazines that are like special ones that are dedicated to a, like a person or a like a group. And so like recently I've gotten uh, the Eagles. I've gotten John Wayne. Um, I, I, I usually get some every month. But while I was at Walmart today, I saw the Audrey Hepburn and I saw a Princess Diana special one. But that was people... And I got the Diana one, because y'all know how much I love her. But anyway, I, I thought that was hilarious when they're sticking the fake lashes on their head. All right, let's keep going. We have three more sets to go. This next one is too adorable. This is called Kindness First. And look at that little baby bunny. Kindness first and foremost, a token of my love and for you. I love that big little fluffy ball on the bunny's bum. Then we have anniversary mini. So happy anniversary and bravo. And the little present. And there looks like they're going to dance maybe there's that and the last one in this bundle is called spoonful of sugar and those have been around know how much i love 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 mary poppins just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down hope you're feeling better soon <laughs> The key to juggling life is to do it with grace, and you do it so well. And what's really cute about the die is 
It has a die so that the sugar cubes are flying in the air. And there's even a die for the little single sugar cube right there. So that's it. That is my latest Anita Jerem, um, I guess you say acquisition. Um, I still have to get the May and July. I don't think there was an August release for Anita Jerem uh, with them. So I'm hoping that's not a sign that, um, I'm, I'm hoping that's not a sign. So, cause I'm, I'm sure y'all have noticed I haven't been buying lots of stamps. Um, because like I said, I'm trying to behave. But I did tell you guys that Anita Jerem, there is no, there is no uh, limit on her. She is, she's my girl. All right, you have stuck to the end. <laughs> um, if you're here to find out, so I got the phone call from my orthopedic doctor today. And it turns out that I have a significant medial meniscus tear. And I am being referred to the orthopedic surgeon and I consult with him on the 10th. So two weeks from today, I will be consulting with the surgeon about what we're going to do about my knee. So yeah. And then he's like, oh yeah, and, and you have really, a really damaged ACL. And I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of, I told you that. I said, it's been that way for over 30 years. <laughs> um... Yeah, because I had a orthoscopic surgery on my knee when I was 16. So, uh, yeah, that was a, I don't know that I've ever shared that story, but yeah, that was, I really did a number on that. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be back this weekend. We are doing a double date tomorrow with my sister and her husband. So, we're going out, excuse me, for dinner and I don't know what else. And, uh, my yard was supposedly going to go in today and they show up and they're like, well, we can put it in. But as you can see, the sod that we brought is not what you ordered. And, um... So I proceeded to tell them that we're not putting it in my yard because we paid for an upgrade, um, a higher end, uh, St. Augustine to go into our front yard. And, uh, yeah, what they brought wasn't the higher end St. Augustine. So hopefully I'll get an update next week. Maybe this has been an ongoing saga since June. <laughs> so our yard looks so horrendous. It looks so bad. Because they came, what, three weeks ago and they scalped the yard to prep for the sod that they didn't have. So I'm like, why are you doing this to my yard if you don't even have the stuff to replace it? But anyway, this is supposedly a reputable company here in the San Antonio area. If you're in the San Antonio area, I'm going to tell you ABC Home and Commercial Services I was considering them for when we remodeled the master bath. Uh, that's not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, we paid over 50% up front as a deposit down on our front yard. And all communication, we have had to initiate with them. They have never once reached out to us to give us updates, to say they were coming, to say they weren't coming. Um... Yeah, it's, yeah. I know they have multiple departments, but I'm going to tell you, their lawn scaping service, that department, they suck. That's, you know, that sounds bad, but, um, and then, uh, keep in mind, they haven't even put my yard in and they've already, they're already sending us invoices for the balance due. And we're like, we're not paying you. For a job that hasn't even been done, they're all like, well, our system automatically, you know, sends it out. And I'm like, how can your system automatically send it out unless you mark the system saying that the job's complete when you know it's not? So we won't be using them when we remodel the master bath. Just saying. Or redo our, because we're also looking at uh, ripping our driveway up and repouring that too. 
So, anywho, I'm just venting. Sorry. Uh, Y'all have a great night. Um, hopefully, I might pop in this weekend. Um, I'll definitely be back next week. And um, with that, y'all have a great night. As always, love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.